Well, good day. Welcome to season six of this real fisherman. And uh, I just want to give you a little bit of a heads up on the video you're about to watch. It's a uh, panfish video, uh, primarily set out to make a crappie video, but the bluegill were also hitting, so we kind of got a combo bluegill crappie. And these panfish videos, they're difficult to make. Uh, because up here in northwestern Illinois, we jig straight down over the boat and we move in and out of the brush piles and get right in them and <clears throat> to try to operate the camera and move the boat around these uh, trees and vertical jig and catch the fish, it, it all makes it uh, rather difficult. So uh, just want to get you give you a little bit of a heads up on this and uh, the uh, effort that goes into it and I hope you enjoy it. Check the size of this gale out, huh? Look at this guy. Now that is a bluegill. That's another big gill right there. Seems to be one of the gill. Check that dude out, huh? Now there's a crappie. Check him out. There's a crappie. All right, I had the camera off on that one, but it's another pretty decent crappie. And there he is. Maybe I'm starting to figure these out. There's a big gill. Looks like a crappie gill day. Thank you. 
there's a crappie. That's a nice guy. We'll take it. There he is. There he goes. There's a crappie. Now there is the big gill. That is the big gill. While there is no easy way to determine the type of structure the crappie will use, once you find the crappie, they will continue to use that same wood year after year. The trick is to be there at the same time they are. For example, I've caught crappie off this same log each of the last three years. There we go. That's a crappie. There he be.